Hello everybody. Welcome to SCP Journey. This is my channel logo, SCP Journey, and you can find us on YouTube. In this video, we will learn about first thing is architecture of SCP R3 system. Second thing is SCP front end or GUI. What is GUI? Third thing is first screen of SAP. So here we start. First topic is what is SAP R3 architecture and how it's look like. What is SAP R3? R3 means SAP R3 is a three tier architecture consisting of three layers. First layer is presentation layer, second layer is application layer, and third layer is database layer. In simple words, it's a client server architecture. What is the meaning of R3? R3 is R is stand for real time system and 3 is represent to 3 tier architecture. So here is the architecture of SAP. First layer is presentation layer and second layer is application layer and the third layer is database layer. Now, who are using the different layers? Means, SAP end user, customer, and vendors are using the presentation layer, or you can say that uh, through presentation layer, using the GUI by the GUI, they can access the application server, and the application layer are using by the SAP consultants and SAP hardware team and the basis team are using the database layer and this is the work process how SAP is working in the presentation layer there are so many users and they are using the SAP GUI through SAP GUI they are firstly you know that that S SAP is working only on T codes, transaction codes. These users are running the SAP GUI and through SAP GUI they are giving the transaction. The transaction pass from the GUI to message server and message server pass the request to dispatcher queue. If dispatcher is free then dispatcher queue request sent to the, sent to the dispatcher after dispatcher they are the request is using the gateway and reach to the ABAP work process through ABAP work process they are using the memory and fetching the data from the database layer and all these three layers using the ICM what is ICM ICM is internet connection manager and in this way the SAP request move to the SAP user. Now here you can see, see that presentation layer means SAP GUI is window based and application layer or application server are window server or Unix server and database layer or database server are window server or unix server now in previous ppt slide here is one above work process what is above work process work process types a dialog work process second is background work process third is update work process fourth is pool work process 
and fifth is NQ work process. What are the firstly we understand the what are the work process? See this is my SAP. and I am using the particular command or transaction code SM50 here you can see that the type of the work process DIA DIA is represented to dialog work process and UPD UPD is representing to update work process ENQ is NQ work process and BGD is background work process and SPO is pool work process this is pool work process this is background work process this is NQ work process this is update work process and this one is the dialogue work process so we can understand one by one see dialog work process what is dialog work process dialog work process for example if we are using a t code or transaction code for for a short time here you can see that short running jobs taking under the dialog work process whatever we are using the transaction and if we are using that transaction for a short time for example we are using any t code like mmb for checking the stock that transaction is assigned to dialog work process second is background work process what is background work process whenever we are using any transaction for updating anything in sap system for example we are updating the price list we are updating the salary of our employees the that work process are too big or taking the large time so that this type of job assigned to the background work process job third is update work process update work process is like we are using the transaction xd01 or sorry xd02 in uh, changing the customer master data and after using that transaction the process will be assigned to update work process and system will update the data whatever we are doing the changes spool work process what is spool work process spool work process is nothing but uh, but for taking the print print out print out of any documents whenever we are taking the print out of any document that job is assigned to the spool work process nq work process it is very impo important to know what is nq work process sorry here I didn't change there and Q work process is checking the user authorization means a admin of a SAP system is giving the authorization to a, to the particular user means that particular user is not using that transaction and they are uh, is restricted to the particular user and that restrictions or authorization checking by the NQ work process now what is SAP GUI means SAP GUI stand for 
graphical user interface and how many types of uh, SAP GUI or how SAP GUI family first is SAP GUI for HTML second is SAP GUI for Windows and third is SAP GUI for Java whenever we are using the SAP through a browser for that this is using first is using SAP GUI for HTML and whenever we are using the SAP through the for the window users they are using the SAP GUI for Windows and same as the Java work process sorry same as the SAP GUI for Java now SAP GUI for HTML is working only browser SAP GUI for HTML is working only on browser it is directly running on the browser this SAP GUI support only the Fox Pro and Internet Explorer browsers Fox Pro and Internet Explorer only SAP GUI for HTML is working on only for Fox Pro and Internet Explorer and the second is SAP GUI for window SAP GUI for window is working only on windows third is SAP GUI for Java this is working on for Linux, Unix, Windows and Mac OS now firstly if we are using the windows then install the SAP and after installation install the GUI client after GUI after installation of GUI client we define the parameters like that and once the GUI installed then on the desktop we can see the icon of SAP GUI for windows this SAP GUI icon will appear on the desktop after installation of GUI now double click on the SAP GUI window icon and this screen will be popped up now you can see that there are three types of clients if we want to work on the first client then select first and press the logon button whatever you want to use the client just select one and press the logon button and this button new item you can use it for creating a new client and change change item item button is for changing the client details of details and through detail delete item you can delete the client now just select a client and press the logon button this is the logon screen after pressing the logon button this screen will be appear and here system asking you the client number user user id and the password and the preferable language after filling all the things you can press the enter or you can just press the tick mark of this this is the first screen of SAP you can see that this is the command field here we can put the transaction code for running any screen this is the title bar this is the title bar whenever we are running any transaction code the title of that transaction system showing here 
and this is the standard toolbar we are using these tools this is the application toolbar and all the area is screen area and below side you can see that status bar whatever the result come from the message server it will be display here and this is the interface menu you can change the settings through this button so in this video we will learn about what is sap architecture what is sap gui or front end and third one is what is the first screen of sap so guys if you like my videos and my channel please subscribe us and comment on this video what type of video you want to see thank you